Hello, Sagittarius. How y'all doing? Hope everyone's doing good. My beautiful little Saggies. Thank you for tuning in. For anyone who's new, welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. And for those who are returning, what's up? My tribe, my tribe, my tribe, my tribe. Remy has lost the sign. If you're, if you're familiar with my videos where Remy used to sit up here. And he had a little sign that he held. And for some reason, everything else is here but the sign. So I, I just think he doesn't want to have to work anymore. This may be a problem. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay, so this is going to be your love read for May 16th through the 31st of 2020. The energies. You had some really good energies from the last read. If I recall, I believe you had a very, supposedly, for those that resonated for, a good connection. But let's see where we're at right now. This is a general read, Sagittarius. So, uh, this may not resonate for all of you, but just if it resonates, leave what doesn't. And if this doesn't resonate, maybe the other placements in your chart might resonate more. Many times that can happen, particularly Venus in love situations. Okay, because this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And it can be for Mercury, Jupiter, and Mars also, depending on what's going on in your life, you know. Um, these are timeless reads. So the energy is based on May 16th to the 31st of 2020. But some of this may have already happened. Maybe uh, some of it's happening or it's happening as you're watching this. Maybe none of this has happened and it's it's going to happen. It's just not happened yet. And the energies in May, the end of May, will be moving forward to this. Um, and if you happen to watch this past May 2020, that's okay too. Because, again, they're timeless. So whenever you click on it, you happen to see it and click on it, most likely when you're guided to watch it, if it resonates, that was the message for you at that time. Okay? See what we have. That wasn't a good one. I'm going to shuffle one more time. That was kind of a stiff shuffle. All right, here we go. Ready, Sagittarius? Uh, if there any cross watchers out there, hello, cross watchers. Uh, these roles can be reversed in readings. So just keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you, Sagittarius. This may be your person. All right. Let's see what our main energy is here. Well, well, well. Do tell in the comments, Sagittarius. Hmm. So we did have a love connection. Nice. Emotional fulfillment. This is the person you were looking for. Now, if you don't have someone, you're going to meet the person you've been looking for. But what I'm hearing, this is the person that you've been looking for. Well, let's get your energy, Sagittarius. I want more information. <laughs> you fire shine, you. Um, these are not gender specific. So if I refer to any of the cards as he or she, it has only to do with the energy of the cards. It has nothing to do with your gender. So uh, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. Regardless of our gender, some females resonate more with masculine energy and vice versa. Some males resonate more with feminine. These are not only for heterosexual connections or love situations. It can be, I don't know why no cards are coming out. These can be same sex also. So I just want to make sure all that's clear, okay? These are not zodiac signs specific in the readings, but if a sign comes out, that's like a major arcana, I will point it out. And uh, court cards, page knight, queen, or king. A lot of times the court cards can represent people in our lives. Again, it does not have to be. It could just be the energy. Or maybe they, oh, oh, or maybe they have something in their chart. Okay, you had a number of cards come out here. We're going to do that one last. These came out on top. The way I kind of read face up, face down cards is this is what's on the surface, and this may be what's inside of you, what's going on inside. So, all right. We're at a turning point here, Sagittarius. You like this person a lot? Love the, I hear love. Love this person. But it's interesting because two of swords. You're having a hard time making a decision. You're being pulled in two different directions. And I'm kind of curious as to why that might be. Underneath, oh. Well, underneath that you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's going forward in a good direction, I'm hearing, because then after that, you have the Two of Cups. You have two twos here. 
I'll get to this card in a minute. I'm trying to figure out why do you mind? I'm having a <laughs> this is a feisty card, whatever it is there, Sagittarius. I'm trying to find the energy of the two of swords. Strange to I'm almost hearing you have two people in mind. That's weird. Let me see here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is, this is, hold on, we'll get to this one in a minute. It's kind of like, maybe you haven't entered into a relationship yet, but you are really happy with this person. It's like you're both happy with each other. But at the same time, now, the Wheel of Fortune is like the halfway point. So you, you haven't quite gotten to the point, possibly, where you have entered into a relationship because this person in the ten of swords ten of swords i don't know why i said ten of swords i have no idea where that came from the ten of swords is about being hurt um that comes out i'll freak out maybe that's not ten of swords down here that comes out i'll freak out this is about taking a gamble spinning the wheel taking a chance you're at the halfway point so what i'm hearing here sagittarius is is you're you're at the point well this is getting serious this is getting pretty serious and you don't know if you're ready yet to go to the next level. Halfway point. And two of cups. But it's, it's the two of cups is about partnership. Let's see what we have here underneath. Hmm. That's our dog Coco, if you can hear him barking in the background. <laughs> the moon. The moon card. Now you could be dealing with a cancer. This, that's my roommate. I can't tell you how many videos. Coco can't hear. Coco's an old dog, so he can't hear. So you got to yell at him many, many times before he actually hears. <laughs> um, he's a sweet dog. He's a lab. He's a chocolate lab. He's a sweetheart. Uh, anyways, the moon card can be either Cancer or Pisces. It does not have to be. You feel like you're <laughs> drowning in emotion. The moon can be about illusion. I want to have to clarify that because I'm not getting a clear-cut answer. Let's see where your person. It's interesting. You have the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. It's a good energy. It sounds like things are going good. What's going on inside of you emotionally, Sagittarius, that is stopping you from entering this relationship? Or getting more serious with this person. You know, in the, in the moon card here, the moon's here, but you have two dogs up here. And it's like you've got battles inside. One side saying one thing, the other side saying another. That's the two of swords. Hmm, okay. This is your person, Sagittarius. So let's see what pops out here, if anything. Okay, here we go, here we go. There's one. And this one wanted to come out. I may take this top card, too, because that one kind of wants to slide out, too. We'll see. Let's start with this one. All right, so your person is either communicating with you or wants to communicate with you. Um, oh, is this moving too fast for you? Is your person moving too fast? This is a movement of fast... I mean, this is a card of mo fast movement. I mean, traveling, moving forward, maybe, maybe moving somewhere else, you know, physically moving. It's movement, and it's a lot of communication. And... I'm thinking maybe it's going too fast for you and you're freaking out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, you have the Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Ah. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But again, it does not have to be. The Knight does not have to be. The Knight of Swords is, again, fast-moving energy. Moving forward too fast. The Knight of Swords... I think this person, for you, Sagittarius, is going way, way too fast for you, which is interesting because swords don't usually, but they have, the swords don't usually move fast in relationships, but with the knight, when the knight is all about a mission and action, going after what they want, going towards what they want, but with the knight of swords, it can be almost um, irrational, irresponsible, um, going too fast too soon. So I'm thinking, let me see what this card was. 
Mm, you're very into, I'm going to keep this card out. This card wanted to come out the top, so I wasn't sure, but I decided to. And uh, this is good because, uh, I'm hearing that, yeah, that's my, I don't know if you can hear that. I live in a place and these people just moved in. These kids are hella noisy. You know, it's nighttime and they're making noise. Okay. Um, I digress. Um, The Knight of Pentacles is very much about independence, but this is your other person, so I was thinking it was you, but this is about the other person. But the card after that is the Ten of Pentacles. And similar to the ten of uh, ten, the wheel over here, which is number ten, the Ten of Pentacles, which would be after this card, is a card of um, happiness and abundance. And I see the Ten of Pentacles almost as... They want a stable relationship, but I think they're think, talking marriage already, and they're talking, you know, we're going to move in together, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much too soon. So you're really, you're happy with this person, and oh my God. Um, I thought I could do a reading tonight because I thought it would be fucking quiet. It's nighttime. It's, only, it's 10 o'clock at night. You know, this kid's like three and four. Shouldn't they be in bed? What the fuck is wrong with parents? Honestly. I never hear this mother correct them, ever. I had to correct them today, which stopped them from what they were doing, but... Okay, anyways, Page of Cups. Mm, yeah, see, this person has an... I, they have kind of a um, romanticized or fantasy of, of what love is all about. Maybe they're a water sign, Page of Cups. Again, you got the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Maybe they're kind of a dreamer, and it's like, oh, love is this, you know, we're going to get married, we're going to live here, we're going to have children. They're kind of immature in love, and their heads are in the clouds. And it's kind of like the idea of love. It's like when pigs fly, that's not the way the real world works. Um, they, they're they very emotional and sensitive. Uh-oh, uh -oh. yeah, underneath here is the hierophant. They're already talking marriage. And you're like, slow down, Buster. Slow it down. I think this is going too fast for you, Sag. Yeah, I mean, you got a good connection, but you're like, whoa, you may have to set some boundaries with this person. Let's see what cards come out as far as your connection together, and maybe any obstacles or boundaries. Well, I'll take that one. And that one. Do I want to take this one? I'm going to put this one on the top. All right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, this, this is, okay, in, in the middle. Okay, this one came up first. Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, feminine energy, um, passionate and emotional, Wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and that's you, Sag, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with, you could be dealing with another Sagittarius or another fire sign, but this could very well be you. You want to move away from... Being, I'm going to say alone, you'd like to be in a relationship. This is moving from wa rough waters to calm waters, but it's almost, see how it's windy? It's almost, it's still pretty stormy. It's almost as if uh, spirit or somebody's trying to pull you forward. Maybe this person's trying to pull you forward too fast, and you're like, whoa, whoa slow down, slow down. You're going to make my boat tip. <laughs> I mean, that sounds funny, but it's it's like saying, slow down, think about this. Let's just take our time. Um... You know, the Queen of Wands is stepping into your power. You're going to have to assert yourself here, Sagittarius. You're a fire sign, so you probably do assert yourself. Um, I'm going to peek at this card. Yeah, something's out of balance. Justice. Ooh, there's the... Whew, I heard justice of the peace. <laughs> I hear marriage again. <laughs> um, wow. I just, thought, I just saw the bottom of the deck, and I'll get there in a minute. You just want everything to be balanced right now. Something's out of balance, and you just want to be true to yourself and take things slower. Not slow, but slower. This person may be going, moving forward too fast. Um, and it's not that you, you... You do have a good connection with this person. And what I'm hearing with the Eight of Cups is, you know, all these other cups are empty. I mean, they have been sunk. This is your relationship with the person. There's a lot of passion and love, but you're like, listen, if you keep pressuring me to move forward too fast, or you're thinking this, I'm going to have to leave. I can't be in a relationship 
where somebody's going to pressure me or try to coerce me into doing things I'm not ready to do yet. Oh my God. All right, Sagittarius, let's get what I call the possible outcome, but more of the energies moving forward from this point on. So, you know, here we go. Um, oh boy, oh boy, boy, boy. You got the full card here. Taking a leap of faith. I'm hearing, Sagittarius, that you're afraid to move forward. And this card is saying that you need to take a leap of faith and just go for it. Because that's the way love is. Sometimes you just have to take a chance. That's the wheel. If you don't spin, you don't win. And you're being pulled in two different directions. You want to be with this person, but yet you don't. You're being, you're being, um, maybe this person's a, a very emotional or, but you're being drowned in emotions. You feel like you're being smothered, smothered. You know, oh, I'm not going to say it, but Queen of Pentacles in reverse. These kids act like they're fucking deaf. It's 10 o'clock at night. <sighs> All right. I go out there, but I'm doing a reading, so they're like right out in the hallway. What the fuck is wrong with parents? I don't know. I can't stand children. Can you tell? But I, mean, I can't stand parents who don't correct their children. These kids listen to me, and I didn't have to be mean. I said two things. I did a hand gesture. I don't speak English. So I had to do a hand gesture. I can't talk to them in English. They don't quite understand. So, And there's three and four. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is... I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, I should have waited to do your reading. I just figured it would be quiet. I thought they would be fucking going to bed. Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, let me concentrate here. The Queen of Pentacles. Upright. If she was upright. Now, this is a feminine energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, very feminine energy, very, um, they're very emotional, can be very intuitive, very in tune with their feelings, kind of at peace. They're, they're willing to wait for whatever it is they want. They're very patient, but you got it in reverse. I'm almost hearing... Hmm. See, I thought the Eight of Cups was you. Maybe this is your person. <clears throat> I'm hearing that maybe you're being a little resistant. Oh, wait, whoa. Back up, I heard something else. No. I'm hearing that you want to take a leap of faith, but you want this person to be patient with you. You want to have the time to be able to think about this. Totally different when I first heard, but that was stronger. This person, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> All right, let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, they finally got quiet. Thank you very much. Time bedtime. <laughs> um, four of Cups. The Four of Cups is very much about... Oh, we got the Four of, of Swords here, too. I'm going to get two Fours here. We'll start with the Four of Cups, but I'm going to leave the Four of... I'm going to put the Four of Cups on the side and leave the Four of Swords visible because I think these are very both important. You may be feeling a little apathetic or a little um, aloof. I'm going to say aloof with this person because this is the person offering you the cup and you're like, N no, not yet. See how you have your one hand down? I want to take the cup. I'm not ready yet. I'm trying to think about this. And you're, it's like you're, you're telling them, I'm sorry, my hand's in the way. I did that in another video, and I, I hope it wasn't yours, but I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I had the hand in front of the car the whole time. I wasn't even thinking. Um, they're offering you a cup, and you're like, no, I want to take the cup, but not yet. Not yet. I like being with you. I like spending time with you. I really do care about you. I like you a lot. But you're pushing too fast too soon. And I'm not ready for that. I need some time to think about this. So you need to take some time to be on your own and think and kind of recharge and, you know, be with your thoughts, be with your feelings in your comfort of like your little nest. And I am recording this during the pandemic lockdown. So, you know, maybe that's... And this is another making decision. This is interesting because this one's kind of making a decision too. I'm trying to decide... If I want to go to the next level, we've planted some roots. We have a good, strong foundation between the two of us, right? And um, so the roots are really, it's like you've known this person or, or the connection is very deep. And we're growing 
you know, we're growing into, this is growing into a better, a very, uh, it's nice the way it is right now. That's what I'm hearing. You're happy with the way things are now. And this is the person you would like to be with right now. But you're not ready to go to that level where you're going to be, like, engaged. Or, I mean, maybe they propose. Who knows? Um, or get married. But they're talking about all this. And you're like, whoa, whoa, slow down a little bit. Slow down. Maybe you haven't even known each other that long. It's like, hey, we haven't even known each other that long. You know, I know they say when you know, you know. But some people still, like me, I'm like that. I like to take my time and, and you know, shh, slow down. Slow down. Slow the jets there, buddy. All right, so you're trying to decide. You're trying to think about it. I'm going to leave both of these out at the bottom of the deck because it's kind of a, a period of deciding what you want to do. All right. Sag. Sag, sag, sag. Let's get some clarification for you. For the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Wheel, and the Moon. As a side note, all right, the two kids are very cute. The little, the little girl, she's four. Um, she was very complacent when I was trying to. I did, had to, a couple times I had to go out. But she listened. She listened. So I can't stand kids because people don't take the time to, to parent them, in my opinion, correctly. Because she had no problem. I mean, she gestured to me that she understood what I was saying. And she, okay, okay. And, and she stopped. You know, I, I, if you talk to kids, but you have to actually parent them so they can behave. They're young. You know, they're only three and four. There's your Eight of Cups. Again, the Eight of Cups came out. This is for you. This is really, this is sad because this is really, really bothering you. See how the person is just kind of standing there in the background. These are empty cups. It's like you've overwhelmed me and my emotions, the, the feelings I have for you. I mean, you have some cups that are still up, but it's like the more you pressure me, the more these, these cups keep falling. And I'm losing the, um, I'm not going to say the will. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm losing my desire to be with you because you're pressuring me. I don't want to be with somebody who's not going to understand. Oh, you're going to see another, another card, a repeat, who's not going to understand me and, and work with me and understand that I'm just not ready. Um, you may have to have a conversation with this person and, again, set some boundaries, you know, at least now so they know. So I'm going to point this out because you had on the bottom of the deck, you had the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups came out again. It's not here, but it was on the bottom of the deck. Um, and I think it was for yours. I'm not sure, though. I can't remember. Actually, it might have been over here. Um, but those, when they come out again, and you've got one on the bottom of the deck, these are the energies that, to me, are the strongest in the reading. When you have the same card come out, these are two different decks. When they clarify, Four of Cups. You have the Four of Cups again on the bottom of the deck for you. You are just really... See how the, in this one, I just want to be left alone with my... I just want to think about what I want to do. And the person is like... You know, I'm the one. I'm the one for you, baby. I'm the one. I want to offer you my, my cup. I want to offer you my love. I want us to be together. And you're like, I just need time to think. Just give me some time to think. Just hold off a little bit. Sometimes people can be like that. And if the other person is not ready for that, you can't chase a person away. And I'm thinking you may be at that point where you're like, I don't know what to do. If this person keeps pressuring me, I'm going to have to walk away. I don't want to. I care for them, but I don't want to. The Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles for your person. And here we go. For your person, um, Sag. Let me say Sag. The Queen of Cups. I can't. Did you have the Queen of Cups or something before? I'm going to get the Queen. You have a lot of feminine energy here. You've got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and now the Queen of Cups. Let me just point out if you're on a Twin Flame journey. You have the Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine. And then you have the Two of Cups, which can indicate a soulmate connection or a soul connection. So that can be a twin flame, just in case. No other cards here, really. Um, but just those two right now. Queen of Cups. You know, the Queen of Cups is very emotional, very caring, very nurturing. Your person means well. They really, really do love you. With the Queen of Cups, they have a lot of emotion and love for you. You know, they, they, they just they love you so much, they just want to be with you. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm hearing that they think you're the one. And, um, oh my God, there's the Queen of Wands again. I'm putting this up because this is a lot of feminine energy. On the bottom of that is the Three of Pentacles. And, um, 
Three of Pentacles? It has different meanings, but I'm hearing that you two need to work together on this somehow and collaborate. Because if you get the collaboration card that's in the Oracle deck, I'm going to freak. But you need to collaborate because I would hate to see a Sagittarius. If this person, you guys have a great connection and they make you happy, I would hate to see you throw a relationship away because somebody's pushing you forward more than you want. And sadly, I mean, I, I know I've been in those kind of relationships where a person was just kind of very needy. I'm a water sign, but they were a water sign too. I can't date water signs. Um, but uh, it, it does. It. It's, it's, it chases you away. You're like, I can't deal with it anymore. You may want to try to have a conversation or tell this person, listen, I really care for you. I love what we have together, but you're just going to have to give me some time. I am not ready for that yet. I may be. Just give me some time to think about it. You know, they may understand that. You need to work together. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of feminine energy here. So this, this person, I don't know if you're a male or female, does not matter. These are not, like I said, doesn't matter if you're heterosexual, same sex, but this person has a lot of feminine energy. And if you're on a twin flame journey, you may be the divine masculine. This person may be the divine feminine. Just saying, but you have the queen of wands twice. Interesting. They could be a fire sign again. I mean, you're Sagittarius. But it's on this side. But maybe with the queen over here, they're very emotional and passionate about you. And maybe that's why. That's you over there. And they're thinking about you. Because this queen is looking right at the queen of wands. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you really fast. If you put these two together, the queen of cups is looking right at the queen of wands. So this could be you, Sagittarius. Being that it's also over here. Um, looking right at you. And you're looking forward like, you know what? I have a lot of feeling for you, a lot of passion for you, but I just, you're not looking at him. It's like, I just can't right now. I just can't. I need to think about it. Six of Swords, Justice, and uh, the Queen of Wands. The connection. Oh, that just popped right out. Just, just kind of fluttered out from the top. Two of Wands. You're trying to decide which way you want to go in this. And you're trying to decide if... You both want to take the same path. If you want to take the same path as what your person is offering you, the two of wands is trying to make a decision which way you want to go. Okay. And didn't I say, look, you have the two of swords, the two of wands, the two of cups, and the two of wands. If you have the two of pentacles, I'll freak out. <laughs> but you have a lot of two. So that I hear a lot of partnership. Decisions. Decisions about this partnership. But you're torn between two... You know, uh, your thoughts, you're, you're trying to decide. You can't see it. You don't know yet. There's the Ace of Swords. There's the Ace of Swords. You're trying to make a... a, a um, that's interesting with justice. You're trying to make a... Um, here, I'm going to pull that off the bottom too. Oh, holy crap and moly. I decided to take the Ace of Swords, put that over here, and there's the King of Wands. This, this could be a twin flame connection. This is very much a soul connection somehow. I mean, because the Queen of Wands is here twice, and now there's the Divine Masculine. And um, you're very much a free spirit. And I said, you could be the Divine Masculine. Somebody here, and I'm hearing that it's you, Sagittarius, is very much a free spirit. So when you get into a relationship, you want to make sure that that's what you want. I hope you can hear me, because I'm trying to be quiet. You know, because the room's right next to me. Um, and just very briefly, the Three of Cups. I almost see that too. It's it's two twins. It's the divine masculine, and divine feminine, or two people coming in and having sharing a cup together. All right. This is this is beautiful though. Um, the fool. I'm interested to see what oracle cards come out. The fool and the queen of pentacles in reverse. What moving forward? What's the energy? Can you clarify that, please, spirits. What is the energy of the whoa? <laughs> Oh, that's too many cards. I'm going to take these two. There must be at least ten cards right there. I'll take a peek at them. I won't put them back in. I'll peek at them. But I'm not going to leave them. Oh, they're in reverse. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. But they came out in reverse. Okay. I just wanted to let you see them upright. Um, Knight of Pentacles is the slow and steady card. The Knight of Pentacles is a very, very, very slow moving energy. And the Five of Swords is like this. I see this as the person, they think they won the battle. Sometimes this is going to be arrogance, but I see this as the person is claiming victory, thinking they found, they found their person. Your person thinks, I found the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And not that you aren't, I'm not saying that. It's a false victory though. It's a false victory because you're, you're not saying, hey, whoa, I never said that. I never said that I was going to, 
marry you or I was interested in marriage or whatever. That's in reverse. And, and the slow and steady, it's like it's moving, it's going too fast. Or with the slow and steady, you stopped it completely. It's at a standstill now. Because you're like, wait a minute, I really got to think about this because I'm not ready for that yet. And if that's what you're looking for right now, you know, like I said, you can say maybe in the future, we'll see how this goes. Shit, I drop all my cads. All right, I'm just going to briefly look at these. There's the Knight of Swords again. You have a lot of knights here. Knight of Swords, fast and the Knight of Swords over here. That's in there again. That's the fast, irrational behavior. Yeah, they're being a little irrational. And there's the Page of Swords. Uh, the Page of Swords is very much cutting through the bullshit. They may be even spying on you. This may be your person. This person may be spying on you. The Page is very much, um, it's about communication or a message. But the Swords are about thoughts. But they can very much be a spy. You know, they, it's almost like they're obsessed with you. I don't know, I'm hearing that. The th and these are the cards I didn't work in. It wasn't going to take us. There's just too many of them here. But the Three of Wands, plus I don't have enough room here. The Three of Wands is just, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I see other cards in here. The Three of Wands is very much waiting it out, waiting for your ships to come in. You just want to wait and see how things go. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's kind of dark. I'm really sorry. It gets dark in here at night. I have a light on, but over here where I'm at in the desk, it's a shadow hanging over me. Knight of Pentacles. You want to stay. You want to stay independent and single right now. I mean, you don't want to be tied down as far as getting into a relationship, a serious relationship, or you don't want to go to to be with somebody who's going to, going to want to have a marriage. So uh, the Tower card to me is indicating that this may fall apart if this person doesn't get a grip. This person may it may fall apart. There's the Hierophant. <laughs> There's that marriage card. You know what? I know, Sagittarius, I'm thinking that you're saying that this person could be marriage material. You get along so well, but they're kind of ruining it by pressuring you. It's not that you wouldn't consider it at some point. You're just not ready for it. Or, or maybe you are, but you're thinking, you're pressuring me, and now I can't think straight. I can't think about what I really want to do now. You know? Anyways, let's see what you can get for a sacred, uh, sacred destiny card here. Oracle deck. Oh, there we go. All right. That came out pretty quick. Whew. Bottom of the deck is power. You have to assert yourself, Sagittarius. Not that you haven't. You got happiness. Look, there's the two again, the two dolphins. There's a lot of emotion here. You two could be happy together. You know, it's a powerful connection. That's what I heard. You have a powerful connection. A very powerful connection. And underneath that, going forward, you know, you're on the right path. It may be a long journey, but there's the light, okay? You're on the right path. You're going forward. I think you just need to have a conversation with this person and make them understand that you're not against that kind of situation, but you're just not ready right now. I mean, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know who that resonates for, but that's what I'm hearing. Uh, these are the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards. Let's see what we get. Moving forward. This is the card, I think, moving forward. This is kind of... Um, what's happening here. You have a powerful connection. You have a lot of happiness between you. You get along, you know, whoever this person is. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> Only three cards. Shout to the heavens, embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. I just got that card, I think, in the last reading, which was Aquarius. Oops, don't want that. Which was Aquarius. So, you know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, just saying. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Um, I think things are going to work out, really. The first light, beginning a new cycle. Yes, they got this card too. Interesting. Um, what I tell, what in that reading, what this card to me is, with every day, um, it's like, okay, it's nighttime right now, where I'm at at least. And, you know, it's kind of like when you get up in the morning, if you happen to see the dawn, I don't. I'm a night person. I don't see the dawn. But when you see the sunrise, it's like a brand new day. It's a fresh, crisp, brand new day. You know, there's so much potential for each new day. It's the first light, beginning a new cycle. So I'm thinking with your person, you can just tell the person. Um, and, it's, you know, how they react is all up to them. But you can just say, listen, I'm just going to tell you this. I don't, you know... It's not that I don't care for you, love you, whatever. I just, this is going too fast for me. I just, we need to slow it down here a little bit. 
Desert Passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. You know, it's it's it may be um you know, the desert passage is very dry and arid. There's really I'm not gonna say nothing there, but it's almost like you have to trust that even though this person is going through a hot and and barren thing, this person's gonna keep moving forward, even though they can't see anything of value here. It's just sand. It's a desert passage. But trust that there's a divine plan. So this person's thinking, all right, I just have to get through this part of the journey and then I can move forward and whatever spirit has for me on the other side moving forward is is what so think of it as a desert passage I know that sounds weird but think of this as a little like a bump in the road or a part of your journey because with the ten of the wheel of fortune is very much about lessons this is a good lesson between the two of you to see how well you communicate and can work things out together that can give you an idea and if this person is really into you, they will take the time to communicate and listen to what you have to say. So, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. With the keep going forward and the beginning of a new cycle and trust that there's a divine plan, I'm hearing that whatever's happening now is meant to happen for a reason. I am personally hearing, excuse me, that it's all going to work out. You can work this out together. You're a good match. It's just you've got to a point in the relationship where one of you wants to move forward sooner than the other. And you all have to be on the same road and, and pick whatever road you're going. You know, this is the road I'm on, person, whoever your person is. This is you, Sagittarius, saying, this is the road that I'm on. If you are willing to accept that and we can keep moving forward and take it a little slower, then you can join me on my journey. If not, we're just going to have to part and go our separate ways. That's kind of where, where it's at right now. But I'm hearing that's your person loves and cares enough where they're going to they'll work it out with you you know they just got a little overzealous take that as a compliment though because they really do care and love you care about you and love you all right sagittarius this is what i have for you i hope if this resonated that it did help you in some way and if so again please smash that like button please, 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 please. <laughs> you're helping my channel you're making me feel good because i get some feedback and i know that you like these readings and again the more th the more likes the views likes and comments you know, those are the reading. Those are the readings I do first. I assume those are the people into the love readings, and do consider joining the tribe, subscribing and joining the tribe if you haven't, and hit the bell icon button. You know, two weeks we'll do another reading and see where this is going. Okay, and comment. I want to hear the stories. Come on, Sagittarians, and uh, share if you would. All right, all right, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very, very much. And a bit from the bottom of my heart, I really do. Uh, this channel's, you know, it's growing little by little, and I'm very happy with the progress. And I'm happy that a lot of you are coming on the journey with me, and I'm happy that I can share this with you. And hopefully we can share some more. So, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. And join the tribe. And hit that bell icon button. You really never know when there's a specific reading. If this, I don't know if this resonates or not, but there may be a reading that comes up, and you happen to watch it and go, holy crap, this one really resonated. That's happened to me quite a few times. Some people I'm subscribed to, some people I'm not. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Everybody stay safe, stay strong, and stay positive. All right? Hope to catch you in the next one. Hope you join me again. Thank you so much, Sagittarian. Peace out.